Welcome to the Happiness Podcast. I'm Dr. Robert Puff. I want to ask you two questions to reflect upon. The first one is, do you believe that you have a purpose for your life? Things that you ought to do in this life that really will bring meaning and purpose to your life? That's the first question. The second question is, do you believe you can get off track and even though you have a purpose, lose that purpose or not follow that purpose? Well, you probably can guess by the title of this talk, How to Be in Harmony with the Universe, that I definitely believe we all have a purpose, every single one of us. And really our goal in life is to keep seeking that purpose, to figure out what are we here to do? How are we here to improve ourselves and the people that are in our lives? And though that can look incredibly different for each person, I do believe there are ways in which we can find harmony in our universe in our home planet and make our lives and perhaps even the people in our lives go well. But I also believe we can get off course. And let's talk about that first. How do we get off course if there are ways in which we are to live here well and follow a course with the universe? How do we find it? And what do we need to be careful to avoid? Well, in order to be in harmony with the universe, our universe, we have to do things that resonate well with us. Let's say, for example, we're a very artsy person. We like the arts, we like to create things. We're very innovative. Well, if we went into, say, the business world and just did sales, that may not tap into our artistic side very much. It could a little bit, but overall, we might want to think about graphic design or marketing and coming up with new ideas if we want to work in the business world in order to tap into our artistic talents. Or think about someone who just loves being outdoors. They love fishing, they love camping, they love hiking. And they listen to that and they decide to become, say, a forest ranger. That's a good fit for them. If they had end up being a history teacher, that may not have been a good fit for them because they were fighting against what fit well for their heart. They weren't in harmony with their universe. I mean, there's so many questions, ways we navigate our life through life. Like, are we going to get married? Are we going to have children? Where will we live? Where will we retire? There's a lot of questions we ask as we navigate our life through the universe. But how do we know which way do we go? How do we find out the correct direction? And it's actually not very hard. It's just challenging to do. And it's about listening. Listening to the message that come to us externally and listening to the messages that come to us internally. The internal messages would be, what do I like? What brings me joy in my heart? What, after I do it, brings me peace and harmony in my heart? Those are the things we look for internally. Externally, I believe the universe is constantly talking to us, giving us directions, nudging us in certain ways. And if we choose to follow these nudges, and we really listen to our heart, what it likes and what it doesn't like, I believe we can find harmony with the universe. It's available to us, all of us, but we do have to stop. We do have to listen. We do have to explore. We have to be open-hearted and open-minded. We need to talk with people. We need to listen to our own hearts. We need to explore, try different things out and see what resonates well with who and what we are. And if we do that throughout our lives, I believe there really is a good course that all of us can be on. But sadly, we get distracted and the path that seems so clear at times gets muddled and we stop following our journey through life and being in harmony with the universe. How does this happen? I remember many years ago attending a workshop on children's nutrition and what they found was that kids eat well and healthy as long as one thing happens and that's that their choices are all good choices fruits and vegetables but if they have sugar in the mix and that's one of their choices then they eat very poorly so it's like that for all of us if we really listen if we take time to make good choices in our life then it's easy to find our path through life. It isn't hard at all. But when we get distracted 
when we get sidetracked, then it's much harder. For example, here in America, after kids finish elementary and high school, they often go on to university. And you'd think they'd be going on exploring what options they have available to them and what would be good for them to do for the rest of their lives. But often, when they get there, they decide, wow, I'm independent of my parents now. I want to party. I want to have a good time. And so they stop listening. They're not engaging and watching what cues the universe is giving. And when we don't listen, we get off track. I mean, all of us can do that. It doesn't just have to be college students. I mean, we may come home after a day, and that would be our time to self-reflect and say, am I on course? Am I going in the right direction for the rest of my life? But if we come home because we're exhausted and we just numb ourselves, perhaps watch hours of television, that really doesn't add anything to our lives. We won't be hearing the direction that the universe and our hearts are leading us towards to have a fulfilling life. We have to pause. We have to be careful of thrills. Thrills are exciting, but they can be very dangerous too because they get us off course. They cause us to suffer. And in severe cases, like think of fentanyl addiction, they can destroy our lives. I think another thing that keeps us out of harmony with the universe is seeking other people's approval. Let's say, for example, you live in a family that really values professional degrees. They want you to become a lawyer, a doctor, a dentist, a chiropractor, but you want to become a writer or perhaps a musician or perhaps a social worker helping people that struggle in life. Or your family may not approve of that and your friends may actually think you're a loser, but that's where you have to listen to your own heart and follow the nudgings of the universe. When we're in harmony with the universe, really all is well. But if we seek the approval of others, that's a Sisyphean task. We'll never get it because we just cannot get the approval of everyone. No one has that. No matter how great, in quotes, a person is, there are people that look down at them, that don't like them. Seeking the approval for our lives through others is a task that is just going to cause us pain and suffering. Yes, we can be glad when they like what we do, but it's better to listen to our heart and following the nudges of the universe so that we're in harmony with what we were meant to do here. And a lot of times you can know that you're not in harmony when you're needing to numb yourselves, when you're needing to come home and eat too much, when you're needing to take pills or alcohol to numb yourselves, when you're needing to distract from your life, that's showing that you're not in harmony with life. But when you're embracing life, when you're excited to get up in the morning and looking forward to that day, then you know you're in harmony. And we all can be in harmony with the universe, but we have to listen, listen to our hearts, and we have to listen to the nudgings of the universe telling us which way to go, what to do. And if we ever meet someone who life is going exceptionally well, I really believe you're going to find in all instances that that's exactly what they're doing. They are doing what they're passionate about, what they love, and they follow the course before them that seemed like it was leading them down a certain path, and they listened. And we can all do that, but we have to make time for it because there's so many distractions. But once we're aware of the distractions, then we have a choice. We can say, all right, right now I could do this thing that I know is a distraction, or instead, I can go outside, be in nature, I can meditate, I can do things that really allow me to listen, I can slow down, I can look, I can watch, I can self-reflect. These are all tools that lead us to be in harmony with the universe. But if we don't do them, then we're going to get off track. And the longer we stay off track, the farther and farther away we get from being in harmony with the universe. I mean, again, think about a person who lives on the street and is addicted to fentanyl. I mean, are they on track? Of course not. Are their lives incredibly off track? Absolutely. They didn't get there overnight. It took time. It took making choices where they weren't listening. And now, perhaps months or years later, they are very off track. Now, I do believe no matter how far we get off track, we can get back on track. It just requires those two things. One is slowing down and listening. And two, 
looking for the nudges that are there leading us down the path that is good for us. The universe never gives up on us. It's always going to be nudging us in a certain direction. I remember once years ago, invited to a talk by a man who had been doing well in life and had a lot of wisdom. But he did share his story and he said he had become a full-blown alcoholic and was actually peeing in his own pants because he couldn't control it. And he lost pretty much everything. But he got back on track, he listened, he got better, and now he helps countless people around the world to improve their lives. We, no matter how far off track we are, can get back on track, get back in harmony with the universe. Never give up hope. Just say, today's a new day. I'm going to start listening, listening to what's inside of me and listening to the nudges of the universe. Now you may be thinking, Dr. Puff, what's this nudging from the universe all about? I don't know if I believe in that. Well, I have a challenge for you. When you meet someone that you feel is doing exceptionally well, I don't mean wealthy, I don't mean famous, I mean their life is going well. They're just a good soul and happy and just content with life. Ask them, ask them this question. As you were journeying through life, did you have external signs that there was a journey or a path you needed to be on? I would challenge you to find someone who would say no to that. They'll all tell you that the universe is nudging us if we listen. But it's all about listening. And if we're distracting, we need to stop. I know it's hard because our distractions can be very addicting because they're thrill seeking and they create immediate dopamine thrillers. But at the same sense, they destroy our lives. So we have to pause, we have to listen, and then follow that path. Follow the path that the universe is leading us on. And what we'll find is that path will be beautiful and it will resonate with us. And when it needs to turn left or it needs to turn right, because it may, we just turn right and we turn left and say, oh, this is a new journey. This is a new path. How exciting. Instead of fighting life or struggling or just trying to numb ourselves or seeking other people's approval. That's the path to the dark side. The path to finding harmony with the universe is listening. I know I keep saying that, but it is key. Listening to our hearts, listening to our thoughts, being still, and then also really look for the nudges that come externally. They can be very subtle. They can be a pamphlet that just shows up in our path. They can be an unexpected gift or email that comes our way that we didn't know where it came from. It can be a saying that we never knew was there. And there it is. It could be this talk that right now you just found this talk and realize it's time for you to get back on path. We can all have beautiful eyes. The only person that will keep you from that is yourself. But if you want to have a truly exquisite life, we all have to listen internally and we have to look for those nudges from the universe but when we do that we will find that we can be truly in harmony with the universe thank you for joining me on the happiness podcast if you'd like to learn more about the podcast please go to happinesspodcast.org and until next time accept what is Love what is.